My life is a mess! Oh, I just cannot deal. Oh. Mm. This is my lunch. Sorry, I had to dig in straight away because I am starving, but it's a sweet pepper and chicken and rice poke bowl with lots of veggies. Um, because, you know, you got to fuel your body and be healthy, but I just did not have the capacity to cook today. So I went out to go grab a quick lunch before I have to get on with everything else I have to do today. I finally fell asleep at around 3ish, didn't wake up until like 9.30 a.m. So like six hours of sleep, was exhausted. So I stayed in bed and just rotted there until half 11. It has now just turned one. I'm finally all ready for the day, ready to film, ready for a full day of plans. When I woke up and I had like woken up way later than I had planned, I just thought, okay, I'm just not gonna vlog today. Like, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna put makeup on my face. I don't wanna do half of the things I'm supposed to do today, but I just pushed myself to do it. And so I really just wanted to document this just to show you guys how I handle a day where I'm in a slump because this slump has been building up for a while, let me tell you. It all started to fall down for me about two weeks ago. And it started with me going to get my eyebrows done. So I got my eyebrows like tattooed on. And when you have a treatment like that, like microbading or powder brows, which is what I had done, you are not allowed to go to the gym for the next seven days after because you can't get your brows wet, you can't sweat. So I didn't go to the gym for a whole week, which then caused me to fall out of my habit routine. And on top of that, because I wasn't going to the gym every single morning, my body just kind of starts to shut down because that is the thing that keeps my mental health going. On top of that, at around this time two weeks ago, I have just been having next level amount of work being put into my schedule. Like I am really struggling to keep up. I have to get ahead of all of my video uploads, all of my podcasts, all of my scripting, everything for the end of the year by the 21st of December, which is in about three days, mind you, right? Because I wanna go back home to see my family, stay with them for four days over Christmas and not bring my laptop or camera with me. I wanna have a complete digital detox and just take a break after the busiest year ever. And I'm determined to do that. But as a result of setting myself that goal, that means all of my days in the lead up to that in December have been extra packed because I'm making up for those four days of not working. About four days ago, I started to like have this tickle in my throat, which is how I know, okay, I'm gonna get ill within the next few days. And then just to top it off, in two days, I'm gonna have my period, which means right now I'm PMSing, meaning I have no energy for anything. I've eaten my lunch and literally look at my mess of an apartment. So first things first, we're gonna clean this. Like this is actually ridiculous and like I am such a big believer that your environment and your mind reflect each other, okay? Like they're linked. So my thoughts are very cluttered right now, which is why my apartment has gotten to this state. So we need to clean it up and I just know I'm going to be so much more at peace after that. So it's literally almost 2 p.m. because I was sat here with revenge procrastination just being like i'm too tired i don't want to do it blah, blah, blah. so it's almost 2 p.m i have four hours until i need to leave my apartment to go on a date with my boyfriend let's go like i literally 
literally have my podcast mic here from when I was recording. I have just a chocolate bar just laying here. I have pots and pans from when I made my dinner yesterday. I never go to sleep unless the entire apartment is pick and span. This is disappointing. I have my skirt from the night out I went on three days ago still on the floor. Anyways, this is an overwhelming task and the only way I'm gonna get through it is by romanticizing it. So it's time to get to work, people. A cute beverage and then we're gonna top it off with some Kimmy oh yes okay now this might be kind of hard just because I'm about to film a YouTube video but I'm also trying to vlog at the same time so I will do my best on one camera I'm just trying to get some b-roll of this vision board making session for my TikTok So it is just about to turn 3 p.m. My boyfriend's gonna be here in three hours. We are sitting down to film. The flat is tidy, thank God. And I am feeling much better. Like, I'm, I'm so glad. Like, of course I wasn't my most productive, highest self today, but that's fine because I still push myself out of my comfort zone. Now that I'm halfway through my day, yes, I still have some work to do and stuff and errands to run. I feel so much better. You know what it is? When I was doing my makeup, I was starting to feel better because even though doing my makeup is such a chore to me, it's like, okay, I'm put together now. Like, I'm ready for the day. If I put in the time to do my makeup and my hair all cute, I'm not just going to sit at home and do nothing. Like, it pushes me. Now, I'm going to be starting the YouTube video. I'll integrate some clips throughout, but if you want to watch the main video, it, it my main channel is linked in the description. So, let's begin. Okay, get into it. Hello guys, I am now sat down to create my vision board for 2024 and I'm going to do it with you guys while walking you through what my personal goals are and how you can officially and how you can efficiently make your vision board. So this is relationships, quotes, that's a quote, travel, career, The sun has just finished setting. I've just finished my vision board. And that is my vision board done, you guys. And the video is filmed as well, which is a huge weight off my shoulders. I do feel so incredibly exhausted right now, but it is what it is. Oh, speaking of, my nail polish is chipping for some reason, which it shouldn't, because I got them done at a nail salon. This never happens. So one of the errands I was supposed to do this morning was to get them done, but I chose to stay in bed so apologies for this um i am currently in the process of just uploading a reel and stories in partnership with a brand that i'm working with hello everyone and welcome to episode five of the self-obsessed podcast obsesses or embellish and I think the simplest way to do it is to answer the question form of disrespect to yourself and self-hatred that I am literally so tired. I have a headache. I can't keep my eyes open. The energy drink did nothing for me, although I will say it tastes magnificent. I took things a little bit slower today. I was just building up the routines again. Tomorrow I have literally so much work to do i've just been putting it in my notes app and just scheduling like time by time everything i need to get done tomorrow it's not going to be an easy day it's going to be full of work i'm going to work out tomorrow morning lots of things like just today but 2.0 tomorrow like slowly just improving every single day okay day is planned and i'm literally getting the eta for my boyfriend he is literally like two minutes away Ooh. 
I'm about to put on a scent combo that I get so many compliments on and my boyfriend is personally obsessed with. It's the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream and the YSL Black Opium Intense Perfume. The black edition of Black Opium is the best because it's so intense, like this actually lasts. Going on a date, freshen myself up. Now let's top up Charlotte Tilbury powder. Get rid of any shine. Okay. Oh my God, he just texted me he's here. I don't have time to reply to him, okay. Trying to look cute. Oh no, this is the worst lip liner ever. I didn't even go, okay, F it. Cute. I'm gonna put my new little booties on that I got today. Brown coat, which is from a brand called UK Glamorous. Um, and then I'm going to put my vlogging equipment in my thing, lip gloss, phone, keys, vlogging. Should I put a scarf on? I got this one, I like haven't worn it, but I don't, I don't know if it's the vibe. No, that is not the vibe, okay. Let's go on a date. This is like one of our favorite regular casual dates because we love the Mexican food here, mostly because Birmingham doesn't have many Mexican spots. So let's go. We just ordered straight away because we were starving. The space is weirdly empty. Normally it's packed, but I think it's because it's near Christmas. But we ordered four different types of tacos, so that's 12 tacos. But we, yeah, we normally like polish them off, so we're just waiting for that. And in the meantime, we are catching up. My first text to you, I was still in bed. You know what? I, I was just thinking he probably thought I got up and I'm like halfway through my day. You no, know yeah. 2024, which like really gave me good energy. Yeah, I can't see that. Yeah, you can see it now when we get back. I love you. Thank you. Four platters of tacos, Cajun fries here, which are busting. And then this is the best thing. This is a birria dip for the birria beef tacos, which are these, right? Our bellies are very happy. And now it's time to go back to my apartment for our traditional movie night post dinner day. Thank you. That is so nice. Oh. Are you going to come out of there? Okay, we're back from date night. I have just a little, little candle to set the vibe for movie night. My boyfriend just realized he forgot something in his car, so he's just run downstairs to go deal with that. And in the meantime, I'm just going to get more comfy. I'm gonna make a tea for us both. I've also just got this parcel. And as always, any outfits I wear will always be tagged on my like to know it profile, which is always tagged in the description. Cute. The tag is really ruining my vibe. I don't know if it suits my face. Okay, anyways, I need to get this flat all cozy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even know if I properly showed you guys, but it's just so much better. Oh yes, no stains. My energy also is just a whole lot better. Like, I felt so miserable all day. But a date with my boyfriend normally, you can come in. <laughs> a date with my boyfriend always fixes things. Like I could be on my period suffering with the worst cramps. And isn't it like, as soon as I see you, I'm like, oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Or once I was so dangerously ill for like a week. I couldn't breathe out of my nose. The second he comes over, I can breathe again. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. It's mental. So I definitely needed this and I'm glad I didn't cancel on you. We've both changed into comfy clothes. These are the vibes. You my little cherry PJs. And there's some over there. <laughs> oh, we have three. Are we gonna do three or are we gonna do two? Two. One? You're gonna have one. Um, we are watching a TV show together and we literally don't even watch the episodes without each other. We're watching The Walking Dead, 
which I personally watched growing up and he never watched it so I put him onto it and I got him to catch up to all the seasons that I watched and now we're watching the last few seasons that we've never seen before together and it's so much fun. Let me turn this light. Oh, Christmas tree lights. So the vibe, oh, no, not that light. <laughs> I hate that light. And the tree lights. His name was Shane. They thought I was dead. We can go to the cafe or we can do it here. We'll do it in the meeting room, so. Yeah! The is mine. <laughs> I did. Yeah, so I could keep her alive. I teach her how to survive. Mmm, yeah, we're all starting. Yeah. Isn't that too old? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. This one? Okay guys, it's 11 o'clock at night, my boyfriend has just left, I need to take all this makeup off, brush my teeth, I've done many things that I don't want to do today, so I'm going to say that it's a win, tomorrow we're going to build on those habits and keep it going, so stay tuned because we have a lot on the agenda tomorrow, we're going to make it a super productive day. I woke up starving for some reason, so I need to have my protein shake, like, right now. It is 9-ish in the morning right now. I'm ready. I woke up this morning and I felt way more refreshed than I have the past week. So, I definitely got a solid night's sleep. I wasn't up all night coughing. I feel like I'm actually getting better. But because I'm PMSing, my energy levels, like, still aren't there. So, I woke up, like, earlier than usual recently, which was great. However, I was like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. I pushed past it, and now I feel good. Literally, as soon as I put a gym set on, and I'm like, there's no turning back now. I'm going no matter what. So, woo! My intentions for the day today are just to do the best I can be better than I was yesterday, that's all I can do so that I can eventually get back on track. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling positive, the sky is blue a little bit, which is great. I'm gonna go to the gym, get come back, get completely ready for the day, look cute. I wanna wear a cute outfit today. I wanna be feeling myself. But for now, let's go to the gym. right on time I'm gonna leave to go to the cafe to work with my friend in about 15 minutes which leaves me enough time to do this DNA test which I'm trying out at the moment and I'm actually like obsessed with the dimensions of this outfit I have never done any sort of DNA or ancestry test online before but I've always wanted to so you can find out your a diet that is suitable for you based on your DNA which is insane the nutrition you need intolerances ancestry skin success traits behavioral traits well-being personality traits this really reminds me of just COVID days Ugh. oh that was actually easy place the tube inside the specimen bag and seal it then place the bag into the box okay i am ready to go my friend just texted me saying that he's up to eat and i am starving so we'll probably get lunch together as well for now i'm finally gonna get some fresh air and romanticize this walk take a photo 
so I'd be like waiting for my friend to come. Yeah, I We finished our lunch, it was really nice, and now my friend is going to help me get an outfit reel before we head into the cafe to work. Okay, I'm gonna stand in front of this. <laughs> okay. If you F this up, I will never talk to you again. Okay, what am I doing? You don't want to sign on Do it again, sorry. Do it again, do it again. Why? Sign, sign. You had one I know. drop. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Right, call you now. Oh, okay. I, this is perfect. That's perfect. But you're going to be far, and we're going to put it on three times zoom. You know, so it's like paparazzi vibe. Yeah. Yeah. On the paparazzi. We're just waiting for the guy to stop sweeping the floor. Sorry, sorry. sorry. That's okay. Unless you want me, mate, I don't. You're know. welcome to. My friend's no. over there. Excuse so happy you have you, Tam. <laughs> Guys, look, this is the effort Tam's going to to get content for you, so make sure you like and subscribe. Okay, it's good time. Yeah, we did it! We did it! <laughs> but Were you the keeping them entertained while in my absence? Well, well, I just told them that it was hard, all the hard work you're going to, so... It's <laughs> giving model vibes. Okay, now we actually need to do work. <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome! Actually, you're actually Thank you for having it. me. It's alright. Isn't that right? Yeah. What are you working on today? Um, editing a podcast and a YouTube video. That's great. And I'm in here trying to secure some deals. Let's go. Sorry, I couldn't hear anything with my headphones on. <laughs> You're just nodding. <laughs> this is our go-to workplace because I always have to travel here because it's really close to him and he does not compromise. Um, on to more important topics. Do you tell. I think I should put my sunglasses on for this. But I can't really read what you're thinking. That's the point. In the general population, if we had to put where we sit in terms of like percentages, how successful we are aiming to be in our careers, health, fitness, mindset, an arbitrary figure is I'd say we're in the top 5%. What, well, you and me? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that's what I'd hope for, okay? Yeah. And that's fine because we've worked to get to this position. Yeah. But then, how do we get ourselves from the top 5% to say the top 1%. What are like those nuances in professional life, personal life? I know this because I was thinking about this the other day. Okay. So I mean, we have such a sink, right? Yeah. So I'm running a business and in the new year I want to set up like an actual e-commerce business. Okay. But the difference between me just being a successful business owner and getting, I don't know, a six-figure business owner yeah. and a top 1% person is they're running an empire. They're not even in their business. They have multiple employees. It's people that have set up stuff like Amazon. Yeah. But these people just offload it and then they just put their money in so many other things. And then those businesses acquire other businesses. So okay. Like PepsiCo. Um, is it called a con conglomerate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. GCSE <laughs> business studies coming out. Big word. <laughs> Big word. Do you know the most rich, richest family in India? Yeah. The Ambani family. Yeah. So if you Google them, there's like a, um, it's their faces and then there's a pie chart around them of the businesses they acquired, yeah. they work in, they founded, yeah. and it's like 30 businesses in each. <laughs> Top 5%. <laughs> <laughs> Hydration. No, honestly, you're a doctor, man. Come on. But when you have complementing skill sets, like that is powerful. They all feed off each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about relationships or in like friendships? What separates you out from the rest? Those people who aren't showing up for you, mm. you've learned that sometimes you need to cut those ties. Oh my god, no, but my cut off game is so strong. Exactly. It's so strong. I've been letting people hang around when they're not when they're not showing up for me. Yeah. But he has just announced to me today he's in his unfollow binge era. Yeah. We love to see it. It's so good, it feels good. I want your following number to hit 50 like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not a joke. I've got lots of friends. Damn it, I do. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna go get a match off. Positive mental attitude, abundance mindset, legacy mindset, all these things are important to have because then you're putting out there for it to then be attracted to you, yeah? I think the way you can level it up as well is by putting yourself in those environments and surrounding yourself with those people who have done it. When I was living at home, I quit my regular gym and I joined David Lloyd's. Mm -hmm walking to the gym every day, Porsches, filled the car park. Yeah. And I wasn't talking to everyone, but it really, like flipped a switch yeah, in my yeah. mind. Before I edit, let's go get a matcha. <laughs> Two types of people. <laughs> that I shop it. The best kind of person. No. <laughs> And that is work done. What was that, four solid hours? At least four solid hours, yeah. It's six, we started at two after we stopped talking. I remember I looked at the time. Four solid hours of work. Podcast is done, video editing is almost done. It was a good one. And a reel. And we'd made a reel. Yeah. And so now I'm off. I'll see you. See you next time. See you, see you after Christmas. See you soon. Have a nice Christmas. Before the end of the new year. Yeah. Oh, that's so good with the tree in the back. Okay, <laughs> bye. Back home now, my phone and my vlogging camera died, so sorry for the sudden change. But right after I said goodbye to my friend and we finished our work, which was so productive and good, I decided to finally go get my nails fixed. So I decided to go for this nice nude. And then I was like, okay, I finished at the nail salon at 7 p.m. I was like, I don't even have the time in my schedule to cook dinner tonight because I'm just gonna be working all evening. So I picked up dinner and we're having Mexican again. I just got myself a burrito on its own so I can get my protein and my veggies in. So excited to eat this, I'm starving. And by the time I go to bed tonight, all of the work that I was procrastinating on and fell behind on during my like week slump, I would have caught up by the time I go to bed. Meaning tomorrow, all I'm doing is editing this two day vlog and planning my first video of 2024 so I'm ahead of schedule and then the day after that this Friday the 22nd of December I am going home I am not bringing my laptop with me I am not bringing my podcast mic with me and from Friday 22nd to boxing day detox quality time with my loved ones good vibes like a proper productive rest I said some stuff in an interview understood It was nice meeting all of you. Mm -hmm. yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. It's about that is my video and my thumbnail all done. This is actually my vision board video which is going to be my last main channel upload of the year which is kind of a full circle mirror. I'm getting a bit emotional like I'm going to be reflecting over the next week about my main channel like journey and success but this time last year I was struggling with YouTube. I wasn't even on the AdSense program and I was consistent all year long and I didn't miss one upload and like that's it I've done the last video of 2023 and it was a roller coaster year that literally changed my life no oh, I'm gonna go to bed really emotional now it's been a tough two days but it's been a necessary two days and a successful two days I feel completely back to normal slump be gone um and yeah, and day after tomorrow I can go home to my family, relax, and then when I come back in the last week of the year, it's back to full grind mode and just prepping for the new year, which will be my next vlog after this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm gonna get ready for bed and knock out. If you're still watching at this point in the vlog, then comment the word fuzzy socks because I wanna know who you are. I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you. Have an amazing Christmas. Mm -hmm.